Quartermaster General is a card-driven, fast-play World War II strategy game by Ian Brody, produced in 2014 and for two to six players. The board is a map of the world showing sea and land spaces. There is also a score track running all the way around the edge of the board, which goes up to 100. Players don't score as individual countries, but as part of the team. There is also the turn tracker on the left hand side of the board. This runs all the way to 20. When 20 turns are reached, the game ends. Each country starts with an army piece in their home space. So this is the United Kingdom, Germany, Italy, Russia, Japan and America. Some spaces are straight and these are connected by this symbol. This allows a connection between the two sea spaces and allows you to place your new units still in supply. Each player will take their specific deck of cards for their country, deal out 10 to themselves, then discard 3 of these of their choice. These 7 are their starting hand. There are 8 cards in Quartermaster General and the players each play 1 card per turn. These are Build Army, Build Navy, Land Battle, Sea Battle, Event Cards, Status Cards, Economic Warfare Cards and Response Cards. Each player in their turn gets a chance to play a single card. The simplest card to play is Build Army or Build Navy. A piece has to be built adjacent to an already existing piece. The German player plays Build Army. They have the choice now to build either in Western Europe or Eastern Europe. If they take Western Europe, there is a victory point marker giving them two victory points at the end of their turn. Building a Navy is similar to building an army. The player simply plays the card and then places a new naval piece adjacent to a land or another naval piece. As long as they're in supply, this is legal. Playing a battle card allows you to eliminate an enemy's piece from one of your adjacent supplied units. In this example, Germany has taken Eastern Europe and wants to eliminate the Russian threat in Russia. So Germany plays a land battle card and simply removes the Russian piece. Sea battles are played in a similar way, but obviously within sea spaces. Event cards are played immediately and the text on the card is resolved. Status cards are played face up into your play area and the text can be used on the card throughout the rest of the game. Economic warfare cards generally reduce the opponent's amount of cards in their deck, making it harder for them to play. Response cards are played face down in your play area and then will be revealed when the card text allows you to use it. Supply is the most important element of Quartermaster General and all pieces have to be in supply by being able to trace a line through other pieces of their own side back to either the home country or one of the supply symbols on the board. In this example, Germany has taken Western Europe, Eastern Europe and Russia. The Soviet Union attacks from the Ukraine, taking out the German army in Eastern Europe. This leaves a gap in Germany's supply line through Eastern Europe, so the German army in Russia is removed from the board during Germany's supply step. Some cards will allow you to start off new supply points. Like this, Australia forms the Directorate of Manpower, which allows you to build armies in Australia without tracing supply to the United Kingdom. From this new supply point, Britain can build new pieces that are also still in supply. This video has given you an overview of some of the basic rules of Quartermaster General. For a quick play, card-driven, Second World War themed game, there's very few that are better than Quartermaster General. Easy to learn, great fun to play. If you've enjoyed this video please hit subscribe and come back in the future for more gaming videos including reviews, how to play and lots of other military history content.